see Lindelof videos multiplying polynomials vertically. There are tons of ways to do this. You can multiply vertically or horizontally. What I would definitely suggest to you, and I would hope your teacher would agree with me, is that you just have to find the method that works best for you and use that method. So this is just a method. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm asked to multiply negative 2y squared plus 3y minus 6 times the quantity y minus 2. First of all, I can remove these quantity signs because there's no exponent here and there's no number out in the front, so I can just remove them. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to follow this out. And here's my, here's my intention here, just to show it to you. My intention here is to multiply this negative 2 times this, and then times this, and then times this. And then I'm going to move forward and do something with my value of y. So let's see how this might unfold if we did it this way. So negative 2, remember this is a negative 2, so negative 2 times negative 6 is 12. So there's the 12. Negative 2 times positive 3y is negative 6y. Negative 2 times negative 2y squared is 4y squared, right? Negative, negative is a positive, right? So there's that piece. Now what I want to do is this. I want to start to multiply, and this is my intention, I'm going to multiply this piece right here times this, and then this, and then this. There's only one small danger here, or one small thing that often happens, is that we don't line this up correctly. If we look here, this place value, in the weirdest way, is a constant value, or, or numbers only. But when we multiply this times this, we're not going to get a constant value. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a placeholder here and put a zero in it. Usually when I use a placeholder, I put a dash, on, I put a a line under the zero to remind myself that that's a placeholder. Then I'm going to start doing my work. So y times negative 6 is negative 6y. And you see that the y's are lining up over top of each other. It's really important. And then I'm going to go ahead and do y times 3y. So it's 3 times y times y, which is equal to 3y squared. So there's my 3y squared. Lastly, I'm going to multiply my y times negative 2y cubed. So I'll have negative 2y squared times my y value, which is equal, and we know that y squared times y to the first is y to the third. So we'll get negative 2y to the third. Remember that this value here was positive, so I put a positive sign there. And hopefully, you can see, this is actually pretty easy. I, I think the most important thing to say here is that you have to have a method. And you're, you might be sitting there saying, hey, I'm, Charlie, I'm great at math, and I, I do calculus, I do Calc 1, I do Calc 3, I do finite theorem. That's great, but if you don't have a method, your math falls apart no matter how smart you are. So it's good to have a method. So 12 plus 0 is 12, and it's a positive 12, so I'm going to put the positive sign out in front. I'm going to add these two, a negative plus a negative. If the signs are the same, they stay the same, and I just add their absolute values. So 6 plus 6 is 12y, right? So we had negative 6y's here, negative 6y's here for a total of negative 12y's. Here we have 4y squareds plus 3y squareds, I'm pluralizing, sorry, gives you 7y squareds. And this is positive, this is positive, this is positive. And this is a 0 up here, so 0 plus this is negative 2y cubed. Pretty simple, I think. Pretty simple, I think. Uh, if you would prefer to do this horizontally, that's fine also. I'm going to say again, now, I would definitely have a method for doing this so you kind of do it consistently the same way each time. It should help you um, to be successful at this. And the last thing I would say is really to stay focused. To have your method and to stay focused, and you'll be really good at this. So thanks for watching the video. If you have any comments, please let me know. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do. Appreciate it.